Hey dudes. So I just had uh, another cool experience. Um, I'm parked down at the water again and I don't know if I showed you a picture but I will eventually because it's really pretty. And um, I was standing out there eating a sandwich and this cop walks up right behind me and he's like, whoo, breezy. I'm like, yeah, it's pretty cool out here. <laughs> um, but we just chatted for like a while about traveling and me traveling in my car and his work buddy who travels and how they go about it. And it was a really nice encounter. And like because of the reasons that I shared in the last pick a cart or um, like collective reading where I shared the story with the hospital and alcohol and you know I'm afraid to hang out with people because I might hurt them you know like I'm I've tried really hard on this journey but I'm unstable I guess you know and like that's that's kind of rough <laughs> And so I we le it left a little awkward because it's hard to hear with the waves and he was saying stuff to me when he walked away and my intuition's always like don't just go with it like don't just agree because you don't know what they're saying <laughs> and like you're like oh it must be it probably is harmless so yeah yeah and I could tell on his face I think he was talking about a fire or something he's like it's not it would be nice to be able to have a fire out here but, like, I didn't have a genuine reply for him because... Sorry, it's getting kind of warm. <laughs> because I didn't hear what I said, and he could tell. And I felt bad for that because he deserved a genuine ending to, to our conversation. Um, so, yeah. Um, my messages for the collective for today, like, before the cards... Life is like a singing bowl. Um, I'm being told not to, like, react out of fear. You know, fear of not having enough gas money, fear of not being able to charge my phone, my power bank. Um, it does not hold as much power as I thought it did. <laughs> my phone has a huge battery, and, you know, I go through quite a bit of it in a day with, between watching my own videos from other people and uploading and taking videos and... So, all these little worries that just aren't important. Um, the universe has always provided what we need in the moment, and it's the truth. It, it, like, as uncomfortable as it feels transforming and not knowing, <laughs> because only the ego wants to know, and, you know, knowing that is, like, doesn't really alleviate the anxiety, but they say um, anxiety is looking at the past, or, or Depression's looking at the past and anxiety is looking in the future and I always feel like I'm in both except for very rare moments in my life. And um, so that just shows me I'm not in the present moment very much. And that's unfortunate because because love loves us. Um, I want to be, like, trust me, I've, I've been on this journey for... I, since 15 or 16 one of those two years like I, I remember the moment I woke up and I was like what's the point uh, what's the point of like the, it starts with, off with what the expectations are on you right I was like what's the point of getting a job and they're like I was like I guess to get a house and I was like what's the point of having a house and I was like I guess to be in one and I was like well, what if I don't care about a house then I don't have to care about a job right I was like, so, but, like, what's the point then? So, like, say now you're just existing. You don't have a house or a job. Now what's the point? And it took me a long time to figure it out. <laughs> and the point is to feel love and to be love. And because before, the, before then, I just had random childhood moments where, like, I felt free. Like, I was floating on water. But I was still confined. And, but I found my creativity through it. And then it's stifled again, and, like, my ego has tried to kill my creativity so hard. 
Um, but it's the only thing that gets me through now, and now I'm trying to monetize it. Um, here's a cool thing I can show you. So I've been <laughs> making matching hat and shirt sets, and so I've been talking to you guys about that consignment shop, right? But isn't this cute as fuck? I don't know, I like it. <laughs> you, you can have it down for the sun, or like, I don't know, I put it up because I like to see. <laughs> I look like Gilligan, I guess, or something, right? But it's pretty cute down though, dude. And it actually works. Like, it's a little floppy. But, like, it's what it is, right? A floppy hat. <laughs> um, and, like, you could, like, turn it and get different. Like, <laughs> so, but, um, so the consignment shop, I finally looked into it. And so consignments work a little different than I originally was aware of. Um, I guess it's basically like, um, so I would email them and then there'd be like an agreed upon, they'd like put it in their store and then if it sells, there'd be an agreed upon price on it. So it's still an uh, available opportunity for me. Um, but I was told by the universe I still had lessons to do with self-love, self-worth, um, boundaries, um, and putting the work in like like equal balance work and play because just sitting in depriety 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 like depression and anxiety <laughs> she says um and just like you know holding your breath for years <laughs> like afraid to move like i went from one place to another and i worked um but like i've put in 50 hour weeks like to get this to get this car and stuff like I like my, my the reason why I quit the job is because I was sanding and the whatever this is started hurting to the point where I was crying and I'm like dude I'm an artist like I, I'm not willing to break my hands I'm doing this to have the freedom to create like I can't like I'm sure I sounded a little aggressive right there but that's how I felt and I'm grateful I am beyond blessed I am grateful that I have a friend who's been helping me out and you know, like, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, like I said, like, when I originally got the money, I bought all this stuff for me to feel comfortable around, and, and because I thought I needed it, and once I got everything together, I was like, okay, well, I probably didn't need any of this, and, but, you, like, I mean, are we really gonna hate on ourselves because we were, because of what we, you know what I'm saying, like, I was trying to love myself, and I'm still trying to love myself. Um, I'm gonna try to keep these videos a little shorter just because it's easier to upload. But um, and I don't even know if that's the truth actually, because I was like before I was going into Walmart, but I actually paid for um, an unlimited bill this time, and I was sitting on a Wi-Fi and I was downloading it, and it actually went way slower. And I was like, fuck it. Like, I think you get, like, 60 gigs for Unlimited for Straight Talk. And so I was like, I mean, that might go fast with uploading and stuff like that. Like, I, I downloaded episodes on Netflix and stuff for, like, Netflix and chill or whatever. <laughs> like, should I be ashamed to say that? I don't know. I love you. <laughs> um, and uh, um, so, like, I'm not using Wi-Fi for that or, like, my internet for that. But, like, and it's a metaphor, you know, like, every time I ask people how I should do something, um, they tell, like, I am an overthinker, and I've had nothing but time, so, it's quite amazing how much I have calculated, and thought about, and felt into, and people who don't overthink, or at least not nearly as much, like, if you haven't had the free time to overthink as much as I do, because, like, like, wanting to be free, damn, this isn't gonna be short, <laughs> um, I earned my freedom in another way in the past, and I needed to let it go, to evolve, and I had a lot of money at the time, and that's what's changed between being free now and then. Like, I'm free from certain aspects of that life, but I've gained anxiety because of it. Like, when I lived like that, like, I really didn't have anxiety, like, because I just had so much money, it didn't matter, like, anything that went wrong I could fix, and... And I don't have that now. And I will. I can feel my throat, like, 
truth. Truth, revelation, your spirit guides want. I will have it now. Like, that's what, I'm oh, sorry. Like, that just popped up on my phone, literally. Like, it is the truth. And, oh, the message that I'm here to give you today. Okay. We might not pull cards. Maybe we will. But, sorry. Like, that's not even important, right? Um, ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so, life is like a singing bowl, okay? Shit, I feel like I just ruined that. I hope I didn't. Life is like a singing bowl. Like, okay, you know those moments, like, when you're watching your favorite creator and you're like, oh, they didn't have to apologize for that. I uh, Now I get it. <laughs> um, okay, so, I'm like, it's like telling me there's a little more. It's because we feel like we've ruined the energy for you. Like, that, we know we didn't. And then we're like, oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> um, your heart loves... It loves us, it loves you, it loves it loves everything, it loves, that's why it's here. Burping up a worthiness. <laughs> um, okay, so life is like a singing bowl. When I, when I first got a singing bowl, if you don't know them, they're like little metal or crystal bowls or big ones, really big ones. And you take a mallet, and I don't know how to say this to like give you the best oomph like juice of this story but so when I first got one it took me three days to figure out how to do it like everyone else was like oh I get it <laughs> I'm like bang <laughs> you know like I'm trying really hard to like produce the sound to like force the sound and like um so and it wasn't working like trying to force it was not working it was like ding and then it would just fizzle out and I'm like ah trying to chase the sound right <laughs> Like, trying to push it. And that's what it was. Pushing it. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm, I've tried to describe this to people who are, like, making love in the past. And, like, but this is life. Like, today it clicked in. This is life, too. Okay. So, life's, like, you can't force it. Like, if you're going to come from fear and be, like, bang on your life. And, like, bang, bang. Like, I'm trying so hard. Bang, 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 bang. You know, like... Like, you had no idea how to use a tool, and you're, and you're using it, and your life is a tool. Your life is a tool. Your body is a tool. Like, how you feel is a tool. Your mind is a tool. This is amazing. Um, and so I clicked today. I was like, I feel like I should force this. Like, I have people helping me and supporting me. I love you, Mike. And... <laughs> And, um, but I, I don't want to drain them or their resources or their trust or their love or their love for themselves if they feel like, you know, it, and every time I admit something, I feel like I trigger things and they're like, oh yeah, now you aren't worthy. And I'm like, shit, I shouldn't have said anything, but I trust this. I trust this. And, and so, but. As I was figuring out the consignment shop today, I was standing in my storage unit and I'm like, fuck, there's so much stuff in here. So much stuff that I got that I thought I would need that I can't actually use. Um, someday when I can afford the power supplies for like the solar panels for my power bank, I'll be able to use all that stuff. But until then, like I have a inductions like like 20 I mean it's only 20 like but $20 by $20 added up a lot you know I've got a mini heater like a mini induction stove pots and pans for that stove and I tried my rice cooker yesterday and I didn't upload the video for it yet because I figured I kind of I don't want to like overbear people with my tiny videos so that they don't watch the important ones because all of it is important in, in its own ways but you know or you feel me? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, but, so now I just have all this stuff and I'm just, I've stood there so overwhelmed and I'm like, oh my god, I gotta sell my crochet today. Like, ah, I'm fucked. If I don't do today, then I'm nothing. And I'm like, no. And I was like, I really want to watch a video. I really want to, like, not on Netflix, but like a card video from somebody else. I was like, I need, I want to feel, like, I was like, if the universe tells me fucking push it, just fucking do it, then I'll do it, but it didn't, and, and I'm glad that it didn't, not because, I mean, don't get me wrong, my fear makes me want to be lazy, like, in the sense of, like, I just, like, oh my gosh, that makes me want to cry, like, just, like, feeling like there's so much pressure, like, like, you're underwater, and, like, we all relate to this, right, 
but so that's my version of it, my story of it. And, um, it's like, dudes, like, be patient. Like, do something each and every day, but be patient. And so, I mean, I don't know, like, we always feel like we're not enough, right? But if we're forcing the energy, like the singing bowl, then it's not gonna work. Like, it has to come from patience and self-love and, and passion. And because I have passion. I have passion. I have passion for what I do. I have passion for what I say. I have passion for who I meet. I have passion for this journey. I have passion for the ascension. I have passion. Um, unworthiness is a bitch. Um, it's really intense. And... I went through a lot of it in the last two years. Like, I thought... I became kind of... Like, I, I was a really self-assured... Like, I was a really assured person before. Like, I was really confident. And, like, not... I. I've become more cocky now that I'm unworthy than I was, and and I'm really trying to heal that because I wasn't cocky before. Before I was legit trying to help people and succeeding in many ways, like because I'd been through the part of the journey that to, that brought me to the self love, like because you had to love yourself to do what I did and like be who I was and and love yourself, like I truly did, and it was inspiring to myself and others and. I want to be that again. Like I want to, I want to be free first and foremost. But that that is inspiring to myself and others. We all want this, and I want this for everybody. Freedom, true freedom, ah, exists every day and every moment. With millions of people. We can have it too, and we will. We will. Our intention, first and foremost, we want it. We want it bad enough that we gave up old lifestyles that provided for us. You know, I, I, I gave up an unconventional world and a conventional world to find freedom. Like, the purest freedom that exists. Pure freedom in our soul on every level. Not just most levels, every level. And, um, so that's the message is intend for it, feel it, um, I mean, there's never, I crochet all day, every day. Like, there's never a day that I'm not, and when I'm, the days that I'm not, something really crazy is going down, and that's very, like, far and few between, because I've just secluded myself for a while now. Um, I mean, I've got boxes, and boxes, and boxes, and boxes <laughs> of crochet, <laughs> like, outfits, and, um, I'm going to figure it out someday. And when I do, it's probably going to be like a windfall. And it'll be awesome. It'll be fucking awesome. And, like, I have so much... Like, I have resin to make homemade dice. And, like, homemade notebook covers. Like, I just... Like, I went from a place that I didn't... That was so bogged down in alcohol and negativity. To... To living in my car. And, like, who gives a shit, right? Like, my, my straight up the answer for my soul myself was like, And... <laughs> make it in your fucking car I'm like but there's not a lot of space like, blah, 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 blah. you know who cares and like but so I'm gonna run into the same problem probably with the dice as I did the crochet like where can I sell this you know because if it's, I don't know and my fear about the consignment shop was oh are they gonna want half like it's not cheap and it's it's very time consuming to make crochet and like I'm not saying that as like a dampener I'm just being realistic with the worthiness thing because like you know, if you spent 20 bucks to make something in two days to, two days to do it, and you can only sell it for 20 bucks, like, you're not really, it's not really, it's not really helping you financially. And, like, living in your car, you need the gas and stuff, so, um, so there's that fear, and I, again, I, I don't know, um, I, I saved the email addresses, I have my mannequin to take pictures of my outfits and stuff. Um, to, if nothing else, post on my Facebook. Um, I have a, a Banana of All Trades page, and I just realized that you can put a catalog. I don't know if that's new since the last time I tried, because it was like two years ago. Um, and really, I have no reason to fear this, because when I posted just pictures of stuff I made two years ago on Facebook, like, people were like, dude, I'd buy that. And somebody did buy some stuff. Like, I made a homemade chessboard, and like, that's cool, right? 
And I had, and I've traded stuff for stuff, and... So, the fear really is all in our mind. But I'm here to share with you the journey of what it looks like to get, like, to our, to their, to our heart. Um, to being profitable so that we can live the lifestyle that is inspiring to everybody and feels good to everybody. Um, because I can, I'm gonna pull one card for a message for this real quick. Hot <laughs> dang. <laughs> I love you. Things get better, then they get a little crazy, and, you know, but our intention, intention over everything, okay? Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't let them say, because even to do any action, you had to have an intention behind it, okay? <laughs> for the highest good of all life everywhere, as always. Oh. I was like, oh, okay. All right. So what I'm getting from this is we got judgment, the two of cups, and the ember in reverse. So what I'm getting is like like the the what you put into it's what you're gonna get and try not to be controlling. Like what you put into it's what you're gonna get and try not to be controlling. Um, wow, it just made me sad for a second, because I'm like, what put into what you put into it's what you'll get, but it's the truth, you know, and I gotta face that, like, my fear of, I mean, it, <sighs> I want to leave this off on a good note, but like, I mean, just even like walking through my fear just feels like I'm like seeing stars and like, like my body is moving through molasses and like I'm gonna black out. I love you, dude. <laughs>